Hey everyone, welcome back to the shop here in Payson, Utah. I'm Kate and today we're going to be going over some upgrade options on the Sunseeker Fat Tad CXS. Now, we've done some other videos on this particular model that discuss this trike in more detail. If you wanna see those, you can click the link at the top of the screen or follow the link that we have down in the description. Today, we'll be focusing mostly on some of our favorite upgrade options for this Fat Trike. But before we get into that, here are some highlights of the Fat Tad CXS. Highlight number one, price. Starting at just $19.99, the Fat Tad CXS is the most affordable fat tire trike that we carry. Highlight number two, full suspension. The Fat Tad CXS features a DNM DV22 shock in the rear paired with integrated front suspension. Number three, 20 by four inch fat tires on a sturdy steel frame. The smaller fat tires are strong and keep the gearing low for riders who plan on doing a lot of climbing. The steel frame is durable, strong, and has a weight capacity of 300 pounds. Number four, the 24 speed drivetrain. The CXS features a triple crank set up front paired with an eight speed cassette in the back. While we don't consider it to be the most impressive gearing, for a fat trike that costs just two grand, it'll be sufficient for most riders. For riders on a tight budget, the Fat Tad CXS is a great way to get into a full suspension fat trike, but as we've mentioned in a previous video, part of the appeal of the Fat Tad CXS is that it's an excellent platform to build on and create an impressive off-road machine. With a base price of just $19.99, you could add a motor option or some impressive gearing like the pinion drive, and the price would be relatively close to a fat trike like the Fat Cat V3, which starts at $3,500. Today, we've got a few different CXS trikes with different configurations. If you're thinking about getting a Fat Tat CXS but are having a hard time deciding what options to go with, because there are many, maybe these different builds will give you some good ideas. CXS number one, the Candy Blue Fat Tad CXS. If you've watched our videos in the past, you know that something that makes our shop here in Payson unique is our ability to do custom powder coating. We have over 40 colors for you to choose from. You just go to our website, utahtrikes.com, click on the custom shop tab, then click the link that says view all our color options. You'll be taken to a page with different color swatches. You can actually click on those color swatches to view different trikes painted in that color. The CXS frames come in the Sun Factory red color and need to be sandblasted to be ready for a new coat of paint. So once the frame is bare, Ben gets it ready in the powder coat room. This model was painted in our sparkle candy blue. The sparkle colors get a layer of sparkle undercoat first. Then after that first layer is finished baking, Ben applies the candy blue top coat. It goes in the oven for a second time and when it comes out we have a sparkly candy blue frame that's ready to be built. This build also features our UT Custom Cargo Rack with an integrated fender and power grip straps. CXS number two. This model features a Shimano Alfine eight-speed hub in the rear instead of the standard eight-speed cassette. In order to accommodate the Alfine hub, we actually had to make the swing arm more narrow. So we had Drew chop it to pieces and then Luke welded it all back together.
if you're new to cycling, internally geared hubs are growing in popularity as they tend to require less maintenance, they get rid of your rear derailleur, and can be shifted easily. I'm gonna send you over to Lewis to give you some more info on some different hub options. Hey guys, Lewis here. Today's episode is brought to you by a Keurig. Brew your own coffee. It's really hot, I'm gonna set that down. So as you can tell, we're in the shipping area because this trike needs to ship out and we're kind of interrupting Summer who is about to put it in a box. But I'm gonna show you guys this sweet Alpine with this trigger shifter and just talk about internally geared hubs. So let's get to it. As you can tell, this has a, tr a trigger shifter as opposed to the grip shift. The grip shifter is also an option for the Alpine. Other internally geared hubs like the NuVinci and the Roloff cannot use trigger shifters because those have a dual pull, a dual cable um, actuation. So trigger shifters are out of the question for that. Um, there's a push and a pull lever to shift it up and down. This one, you just hit back and it'll shift up. This one, push in, will shift you down. It looks pretty slick, pretty fun to use. Why would you go internally geared? I actually just talked to a customer on the phone about this. Um, it eliminates your rear derailleur. So when you shift into your lowest gear, your rear derailleur is not hanging down, just waiting to get caught. You just have a chain tensioner to keep the slack up on your chain. All your shifting components are inside the hub, away from any elements, any corrosion. You can shift whenever you want. So both this one right here and that uh, candy blue one that we showed you, both have the Shimano 8-speed with the trigger shifter. I've got to let Summer get back to packaging because they both need to ship out to John. So. We get out? Yes, I will. Yeah. Let me get my coffee. See you, Summer. The Candy Blue and this Factory Red CXS both had similar setups and came in right at $3,000. CXS number three. This is the highest priced CXS we're showing you today. The first thing you'll notice, it's hard to miss, is the boom mounted Bafang mid drive. The Bafang is available in a 500, 750, and 1000 watt option. This one you're seeing here features the 500 watt motor. The Bafang is a great option for an off road trike like the CXS. It runs power through your gearing like the transmission on a car and is great for hill climbing. Our Bafang system has nine levels of pedal assist that you can choose from, depending on how much work you want to put in. If you need a break, you can let your feet rest on the pedals and use the thumb throttle to have the motor do all of the work. This CXS is also outfitted with our fender set, our UT Custom adjustable super headrest, and our UT Custom cargo rack with an Axiom trunk bag on top. It also has power grip straps and a Cat Eye Rapid X tail light. It's a pretty sweet setup that came in at just over $4,000. upgrades that we'd like to mention that aren't featured on these specific builds. First, and this is one you've seen before if you've watched our other videos, the 26 inch rear wheel upgrade. This option requires our UT custom extension plates and allows you to accommodate a larger 26 by 4 inch fat wheel in the rear. 
For anyone that's doing a little bit of off-roading and a little bit of riding on the pavement, the larger 26 inch wheel is going to roll faster and will allow you a bit more top end speed. You will lose a little bit of climbing ability, so you'll need to decide what kind of riding you'll be doing and determine if the larger wheel is a good option for you. We also have recently introduced our new UT Custom Cargo Rack specifically for the Fat Tat CXS. This is a heavy duty version, so it's a bit wider and longer, allowing you to carry a bit more cargo. Our original cargo rack measures 12 inches by five and a half inches, while the new rack for CXS trikes measures 14 and three quarter inches by seven and a half inches. One last upgrade that we recommend is our suspension upgrade, especially if you're planning to do a lot of riding on the road. The way that Sun has designed the integrated front suspension places the tie rod beneath the suspension, which causes the alignment to change as the wheels move up and down. If you're riding on loose terrain, this probably won't make much of a difference, but it can cause your tires to wear prematurely if you're riding on the road. To minimize this, you'll want to make sure that the alignment is done with the rider's weight on the trike. Now, we developed a set of Ackerman arms that actually shift the tie rod connection to the lower part of the head tube instead of being attached to the moving part of the lower spindle. This eliminates our major alignment issue with the Sunseeker suspension and combining this upgrade with our sealed bearing headset improves the handling quite a bit. So if you're interested in upgrading the handling, not having that issue with the suspension, suspension upgrade. We hope you all enjoyed this video. Hopefully you walk away with some ideas of how to set up your own custom Fat Tad CXS. We had a lot of really great ideas with these specific builds that we had in the shop this week. If you want to take a closer look at any of these trikes, you can follow their respective links down in the description. You'll be taken to our website and you can look at the 360 pictures that we have on there. It's actually a pretty neat feature. You can spin it around. You can see those trikes from every angle. You can zoom in, you can zoom out. I think it's really cool. I also take the pictures and make the 360 pictures. So check that out. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on those notifications so you don't miss our upcoming videos. Thank you all so much for watching. We really appreciate the support. We'll see you in the next video. Today's episode is brought to you by Coot Rig. Brew your own coffee. Let's see, what else is new? We got a Keurig coffee machine thing. Did you just say Keurig? I don't know how you even Isn't say it. Isn't it just Keurig? Keurig. 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 He said Keurig. Try again. Take two. Okay. Take two. Guys, I need your help getting Lewis here on time all the time. This guy. Or hot chocolate or tea. So that's exciting. So if you want to visit us in Payson, Utah, we have coffee or hot chocolate or tea for you. This water cooler supplies the water to the Coo Rig. Coo Rig? Core Rig. Coo Rig. How are you curing? That's what I said the first time. Anyways. Sacrifices must be made in this era of the Rona virus. It didn't have a water pump and there wasn't enough pressure. So Luke and I, took the water heater out of this because this has a water heater and we put in a 40 psi water pump the thing <clears throat> breathe kate gosh so there's like this outrageous water hose coming out the side of our water cooler and it when the coffee machine kicks on the whole thing shakes super gnarly and it's it's like outrageously funny so 
Should we do a coffee drinking montage? No. Okay. Riding shots. Okay, I can do this. CXS. Don't be afraid if you come here and get coffee and it starts shaking. 